welcome back to my channel. Today is just going to be a quick video um, giving you my top five tips for getting the most out of your wash day. One of possibly my most asked questions on Instagram is about how often I wash my hair and what I do during the week to refresh my curls. So I thought I'd give you a whole video with my top five tips for you. So tip number one is the same products. If on wash day you use Shea Moisture for example, for the rest of the time before your next wash day you need to still be using those same products. If you think about the back of the hand test, um, so the back of the hand test for those of you who don't know, you put your first product on and then you put your second on top and you give them a rub together. If it becomes lumpy and flaky then you do not want to put that in your hair because that is exactly what it's going to do when it's on your hair. So if you have used Shea Moisture one day and then a couple of days later you think oh I'm going to try something different and you put a completely different brand on your hair you don't know how they're going to react together. Your hair is still going to have those products still in it and the new product you're putting on top is going to mix with it, it's going to have a reaction and you would never know. Sometimes it could work out fine others maybe not so I would say stick to the same thing. For me personally that's the way I do it. I use the same leave-in conditioner, the same gel, the same cream that I used on wash day just to reactivate those results rather than create new ones. The two would be low manipulation hairstyles. I work in a job where I have to have my hair tied up for work so it has to be up in a bun um, or a ponytail and I know that some hairstyles, if you put your hair in a tight bun, there is no going back from that tight bun. Once you've put your hair in that tight bun, that is it. Wash day is over, the curls are gone. But if you stick to low manipulation hairstyles, this isn't going to happen. For me personally, these oh so curly scrunchies. I know I talk about them all the time, but it's the only bubble you will see in my hair. These are satin, so you don't get a bubble then. I can have my hair up in a loose bun or pineapple for work, finish work, take it down, and it's just as good as it was before. Not a single mark in it. So I would say, if you do need to tie your hair up, invest in a satin scrunchie. You will not regret it. Three, don't overload your products. It can be so easy to wake up and think, I need to fully re-wet my hair today. I need to stick my head over the shower and soak it or apply a load of product to it. No, if you overdo it, you're going to ruin the results. The best thing that I do is I will spot check my hair. So I will go through and I will think, alright, oh, this little bit here is a little bit frizzy and I'll just take a tiny bit of leave-in conditioner and just put it on that section. Doing this will help the curls that you still have from the day before, it will just revitalise them. If you completely soak your hair, all you're going to do is you're going to, the curls that you currently have, if you can see I have like these nice ones under here, all you're going to do is you're going to pull those curls out. Obviously when your hair is wet, your hair is stretched. Um, and then it dries, it shrinks up. So if you're overloading product or water on your hair, you're going to stretch out those curls and you're going to change them and you're going to be starting again basically. So doing that, you may as well just wash your hair again if that's what you need to do. Another thing I would say is do not put product on your roots. If you notice in any of my videos, I apply products to the ends of my hair and then I work it up always avoiding my roots because I like a lot of volume and if you put product on your roots you're going to weigh them down and it's going to be kind of flat which is not personally for me the look I want to go for. The reason I stretch out my wash days is because my hair gets bigger and bigger as the week goes on and I prefer it that way. Today is day three. I still haven't fully refreshed my hair. I just a little tiny bit of water in frizzy areas and a little at the front. But then that, 
I haven't touched it. I love the volume that I get. I will only ever refresh with water in particular on maybe day five and I'll stretch my wash day out for a full week because of the fact that I'm not putting more products on it every single day and the fact I'm not wetting it every single day means that the curls just get to do their own thing without being disrupted. Four, and I am so guilty of breaking this rule, but it honestly does help. Stop touching it. <laughs> I know that's impossible. We want to fluff it, we want to touch it, but think of what is on your hands. We're constantly touching things and getting our hands greasy and oily and anything like that and then we're then putting that into our hair it's not good you're just gonna frizz it and cause it to feel like it needs to be washed when really you could stretch that out a lot longer only number five is protect your curls at night i cannot stress this point enough once i started to learn how to best protect my hair for bed it completely changed the game for me so when i used to sleep on a normal cotton pillowcase i would wake up with the most frizz the absolute most frizz and it was just a write off the next day the most i would get out of my wash days would be maybe three days since i switched it up i am able to wake up in the morning like today and not really have to touch my hair so what I would recommend is either a satin bonnet, which I will use a bonnet on wash day when my hair is wet because I don't like a wet pillow on my face. So using the bonnet, it means that all my hair is kind of up off my face. My pillow isn't getting wet and I can sleep knowing that my hair is going to be fine. And then I take the bonnet off and just give a little fluff and my hair is fine but if you are lazy like me then get a satin pillowcase I cannot be without one of these I take it on holiday with me I take it anywhere I'm going to be staying overnight even my boyfriend has one now so yeah definitely protect those curls no point in having a really good wash day and then just leaving your hair for bed and not protecting it. So if you have these satin pillowcases, satin bonnets, you're gonna have really good curls the next day because that moisture in your hair is not gonna be dried out by your pillow. Those natural oils in your hair are gonna still be in your hair and you're just gonna have a frizz free morning. <laughs> for me, following these five tips that I've just given you, I managed to stretch my wash days out anywhere between seven and ten days the fact that i'm not reapplying product every day means that my scalp isn't getting itchy it's not getting irritated by product it's being left alone to just breathe the fact that i'm using low manipulation low manipulation <laughs> um hairstyles means that i am not stretching my hair too much i'm not pulling on it um, and then obviously the satin squinchies and pillows and bonnets just mean that curls are just being wrapped in love. That's the best way to put it. They're being protected in a cloud of love. So those are my top five tips. I hope that you found them useful. If you do have any more questions, then feel free to pop a comment below. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you can send me a DM. Any questions that you have. So yeah, I really hope that's been helpful for you.